Here we have the Fend 828 Profi Plus equipped with Fend Guide RTK for running on controlled traffic tram lines. And we have equipped this tractor with the Fend Virogrip technology. Next to me I have uh, Michael Nørmark, a specialist in soil compaction here. And today we're going to discuss how tire inflation actually affects the soil compaction. So uh, welcome, Michael. Thank you. And much. Uh, one thing that wonders me is that how does the tire pressure impact the yield? Can you elaborate a bit on this uh, topic here? Yeah, I mean, research in, in uh, back in time have shown that uh, when we do field experiments with different tire inflation pressure, for example, just after a very firm and tilled soil and look at the yield afterwards. We see that uh, the yield actually increased by maybe three to eight percent compared to where you are driving with a normal pressure. A normal pressure is 1.1, 1.2 bar uh, for a tire like this. But uh, if we go down to 0 0.5, 0 0.6, that is where we see the, uh, the yield increase. Okay, that's interesting because right now and right today, we actually have the Fendt Grip, which is a technology that enables the tractor driver to inflate and deflate the tire pressure. Here we have a technology that actually opens the opportunity for the farmer to adjust the tire pressure right to the specific needs. Mm -hmm. So instead of working, as you say, in general as a compromise between roading and infield tire pressure, we actually have the ability to inflate for the road and deflate uh, actually below what a, an average would be within the field. Yeah, I mean, there is a thumb of rule in, in, this, uh, in this topic. And uh, we usually say that if we are looking at 50 centimeters depth, a tire like this should not press the soil more than 0.5 bar in this 50 centimeter. The thing is that if we increase the inflation, inflation pressure in a tire like this to let's say 1.1, 1.2, there is a risk depending on the soil moisture of course and the soil texture, everything is of course a very complex system here but the research and, and in measurements have shown that if we go below 50 centimeters and above the 0.5 bar we have a damage to the soil, a compactness of the soil that is very, very difficult to, uh, to uh, restore again. It takes a long time for the soil to restore after, after such a compaction. So that is a thumb of rule, 50 centimeters, 0.5 bar. Of course, the best thing would be not disturbing the soil, just leaving the soil unpacked or untrafficked. That would be the, the best scenario, but we can't uh, do that. But I think the development is going in the right direction uh, based on, on the research uh, results in the past where we define these uh, limits, you could say. One example on this farm that we are visiting here today, they are using the Viogrip technology here on the tractor. And they had their strong focus on soil, reducing soil compaction. Uh, because as you see here, we have forest grass here and this is a forest grass crop that lays in this field for two or three years. And by cutting four to five times per year, you will actually see that this field is trafficked roughly 20 to 30 times in one season. So focus on tire inflation is a key to support a high yield. And here in this particular case, uh, I talked to the manager here at this farm and the infield, they're running on 0.6 bar when they're infield and they increase the tire pressure when they come into the roading mode to 1.7 bar. So this is a very practical example of how it's used in practice with the central tire inflation system. I'm uh, happy that you joined me here today to discuss this uh, topic. I know there's a lot of farmers interested in the topic, so thank you for participating. Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs>